I'm going to show you how to create a basic simulation in Houdini and then I'm going to show you how to create a USD scene and I will export it into Solaris where I'm going to render it in Karma. So the first thing here what I need to do is I'm going to hit this little arrow to go up so I have more real estate. Then the next thing in here, what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to hit tab to bring in a uh, object, a 3D object. And I'm going to type in test. And I'm going to use the rubber toy. Then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go inside of it by double clicking it. Or I can hit I or enter on the keyboard, either one. Then I'm going to hit P on my keyboard. And then um, I'm going to bring it up uh, to have some height of the object. I just had a turn that was a dots on there. Sorry about that. Uh, next one I'm going to do here is I'm going to add a DOP network to my object here. So I'm going to hit tab on my keyboard, type in DOP, and we're going to use this second one here, DOP network. And then I'm going to connect it to here. And then also I want to do here is I'm going to pack him because uh, if you look at him, he is one megabyte and I'm going to duplicate him a bunch of times and this will add increase in numbers. So I'm going to down here, type in pack. This one right here. Up. I'm going to just show you what I'm talking about. So if I go in here, copy, I'll talk about copy transform, which is just showing up what happens. I do this and I'm going to duplicate here. So now what he is, you can see he's 14 megs. If I duplicate this, that's a large amount of uh, memory. So I want to eat that have here. Um, then what I'm going to do here, um, I'm going inside my DOP network. So I'm going to double click. And then inside of here, I'm going to add a bullet solver. Right click, I'm sorry, not right click, hit tab and type in uh, bullet. And then you want to prep this one, which looks like a brain and a bullet. And then what I want to do here also, I'm going to need to get a, a RBD pack object uh, node here, stop. So I'm going to hit right click here. I mean, I keep saying right, I mean tab. Um, RBD pack here, the one that looks like a bowling pins. Up up here, connect. Then right here for this one here, uh, we, we are going to over here, geometry source, I'm going to choose first context right here. Now, if I hit play, it's not gonna work. Um, and the reason why it's not gonna work, I need gravity. So I'm gonna type tab right here, and I'm type in gravity. Use the gravity force right here. Drop, drop it here and drag it in. And hit rewind, hit play. Down. Next, what I'm going to do here is I want to add a merge a ground plane. Not a merge, I do merge later. Type in ground because we want him to collide to the ground. Here, hit ground plane. Then I'm going to hit tab on my keyboard and I type in merge. So I'm going to take this right here, click it here, take the gravity here and take this here. If this happens to you, um, these are not crisscrossing like that. Um, you can, if, for example, it was like this, and if I hit play, 
if this goes through it like this, what you need to do is take your ground plane, hold your left button, and just push it up here. And you can see they, they twist here, hit rewind. Perfect. I was landing on there. Actually, I'm going to bring him a little bit higher. I hit U on my keyboard to bring up here. And I'm going to make him to 5 higher up. And I'm going to hit enter. And while this is selected, I'm going inside of here. And I'm checking here, everything is correct. And here, okay. Next, what I'm going to do here now is I'm going to um, duplicate him uh, a bunch of times. And I'm going to use uh, copy to points. So what I need to do here is I'm going to hit U on my keyboard. And then what I'm going to do here is type in grid. And then here in the grid here, if I turn on here, each of these points, I want my rubber toy to be part of that or that be a duplicate of that. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to hit tab on my keyboard and type in copy to points right here. And before that, I'm going to make my thing a little bit bigger. That. And I'm going to connect this to here. Take this, connect to here. And what I'm going to do now is I'm here. Bunch of here, and then we're going to uncheck this. There we can see here now. So for here, uncheck this right. So I copy to points and grid back to here, this to here, and then back into pack. When I when you play this, see it acts kind of. What I want to do here is I want to hit here pack instant. I really want to turn off this pack right here. I just add this pack here. Bypass. Play. Better. You can see how uh, uniformly they are. What I want to do is I'm going to create a um, Wrangler. Uh, sorry, a point Wrangler since it's a point right here. Created this uh, uh, a tribute void plane, which will have a very high from it. I will give me a little more variety of bounds. As said, I'm going to create a point angler right here. Drop it here. And then I'm going to go in here now, and the uh, Vex code here you can see um, this here at ID equals at P T N U point. Copy that, put it here, hit paste, make sure this is points here. Next, what I'm going to do here is hit a tribute pop. I said SOP for last time, I do apologize. Here, I've been E, E, POP. Here, here, E, T, T, R, I, B, POP. I get in here. Here, I want to double click this. Before I do that, click here, and here's can see. A plane. I told you about. I want to create. Go in here, so we can create a little noise here. So first thing in here, this since this has an ID here, I mean that's what we typed in at ID. Type a random. Act. I'm going to type in of add. Tab add. Add 
we'll take the points into here, ran into. But before that, what I need to do here is constant. Type in mul constant. Here, multiply constant. Float. Here, and just float. Here. And hopefully, when it goes, go change the height here. Variety. So I'm select this, and I'm gonna increase this maybe to four, three. That's cool. Now I'm gonna hit uh, U. I mean, uh, back up here. And if I go in here to the into my shop here, you can see now there are uh, a variety of height here. So we hit play. A variety. Next one I do here is I'm going to uh, export this out as a USD scene. Um, so um, next here I'm going to do is here, um, which which is a good practice here. I forgot to put a null here, so I'm going to hit tab null. Here, the practice to do this. Check this. Double click this. I call it um, sim. I'm just out. Um, I don't have to do this, but it's just a good practice. And then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to type in tab. Now I'm going to export this out. I'm going to hit uh, tab on the keyboard. Type in USD export. And if if you're typing this out USD, if you don't see the USD, um, you might be inside of here, inside of your .NET, because .NET you can't do that. If you type USD, see it does not show up. So you make sure that you are inside of up here of the uh, rubber duck here. So I'm going to connect this here, and then go into your export tab. And uh, I'm, I'm clicking in here, so make sure I'm blue here. And then right here, I'm going to change this to render frame range. I was doing it for 1 400 here. I'm going to make this a little bit smaller 200. And um, right now, I'm going to uh, put it into its location. Hit this little icon here I choose I'm going to go in a folder that I have I have created this cache duck rubber on rubber here I'm inside a rubber right now then I'm going to type in a uh, rubber toy and make sure you type in dot usd if you don't type this in, you will not see it inside of here. Hit accept. And then I'm going to say to this, and you'll see a little window pod up here. Okay, um, sorry about that. Um, what I need to do here to put in Solaris, what I need to do here is I'm going to select here, Solaris. So we're going to import the uh, USD. Um, how to do that is hit tab on your keyboard, type in reference, then hit P on your keyboard to bring up the properties. In here, in file pattern, choose this little folder here, five, and you can see this is my cache that I did, uh, rubber and rubber toy. That and hit accept. And you can see if I go out here, play, back same thing I had, back. And now I'm gonna put a light in here. Easiest is just put a dome light. I'm gonna type in tab, type in dome, light here. Easiest light to make it, you can see it, click. 
And I'm going to take this, connect that. Next here is I want to create a camera, a render camera, in order to see this. I tip, tap on my keyboard, type in camera. Here, camera. Connect. And um, right now, I'm going to look through the camera. Go here, hit camera. Um, you want to make sure that you lock it. So when you hit this uh, lock here and it turns red, it means uh, you move the camera around. Position it for the render. Like that. And now I'm going to add karma. Type in tab, karma. Here. You can see here, uh, it gives an explanation more in here. That means right now it doesn't have a camera see here. So if I didn't have a camera, um, this won't go away. So you need to put a camera in the scene. So next thing we need to do here is uh, we need to um, set it up here. I'm here, I'm going to size, I'm doing it. And um, now we need to tell it where to go. Um, and um, we need to tell it to go um, in this right here. Uh, dollar sign F4, I want to copy that. I want to tell it to go to my hash here. Order, render. I type in, um, Boy underscore dollar sign F4. What this means is this is uh, padded four times. So it'll be zero, zero, um, dot whatever extension is. We're going to decide to do, uh, let's do PNG. And I'm going to hit accept. Here. And um, you can render in. Uh, XPU if you want to or GPU that and I'm not going to talk about the settings here. I just want to out like this here and then here it says right now we want to change the render current frame to um for Pacific range one to hundred what uh object scene and all I have to do now is just hit render to disk. So here you can see that is rendering a scene right here. Boy, zero, zero, uh, one, zero, zero, two. And this is the, uh, the four padding, the dollar sign F four dot PNG. I'm going to stop it here. And that is how you do a basic uh, simulation and then how to uh, export a USD scene into Solaris. Thank you for your time and take care. Bye-bye.